Let's make katsu curry. Okay, welcome back to my channel that sometimes turns into a cooking channel. Have all my ingredients here. First step, going to chop the carrot, potato, and onion. Chop, 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 nice and even. And then next, you're gonna rinse your rice. I'm not sure why we do that, but it is key. Turn on the rice machine, activated. Then chop the garlic, my least favorite part. Put your vegetables in a pan with oil, salt, pepper, and saute them for five minutes. Then get your breading mixture ready. That's egg, flour, garlic powder, um, salt and pepper. Okay, mix all that together while your vegetables continue to cook. Then you're gonna add water to your vegetables to get them nice and soft. And then brine your chicken. I didn't have an actual brine tool, so I just used my lemon wedge thing. Then add your curry cubes. I wish I had more. I would have added more to make it um, thicker and soupier. And then I would have added more water as well. Um, but we make do in this life. Okay, it still looks very nice. Mix it all together and taste test to see if you need salt or pepper. Then get your breading station ready. Those are panko breadcrumbs. It goes in the egg mixture, then the panko, and then the oil frying pan. Make sure the oil covers the chicken. Wow, it honestly was breaded to perfection. Make sure there's no bald spots. And then make your bowl. You're gonna start with the rice, add the curry, cilantro, raw pickled onion, and fried chicken, and for kaki to top it. Honestly, this was close to perfection. I would definitely recommend. Let me know what you think in the comments and please subscribe.